Hey guys, Sarge, Earthwalker Primitive. I know a couple of you have been waiting for me to get this video out here. And uh, what I got here, I got this in the mail a couple days ago from a friend of mine, Malcolm. And uh, he makes uh, haversacks and tarps. And I just wanted to kind of review his haversack. I haven't really gotten a chance to take it out for the woods yet to use it. But uh, judging from just looking at the quality of this haversack and from other people's opinions, they last pretty well. They're pretty well constructed. And that's what I want to talk about today. Because he does offer these up. Uh, he offers these up as trade and he also sells them as well, along with uh, the tarps. And a couple of unique things about what he does is uh, he does custom make them to, to order. Uh, he does offer many different kinds of fabric. I have a, uh, a lightweight canvas fabric um, that he used, you know, color of my choice. Um, even, even lets you choose the uh, color of the strap uh, that you want to use. He has a couple choices, but he has, you know, multiple different types of material. He has different uh, colors, coyote, uh, brown, OD green. Camouflage, real tree. You know, he keeps getting in all different kinds of fabrics, so he offers up many different choices when you go ahead and order yours. And um, I will put uh, a link to his YouTube channel on this video as well. Uh, you can contact him through there. And if you're on my Facebook uh, page, I'll have a link. I'll have his have him linked on that as well, so that way you can contact him through that. Uh, but like I said, he does sell them for around forty-five dollars, give or take. Uh, depending on what you do and what kind of fabric you use and whatnot, but he does also trade. You know, I do a lot of trading with bushcraft items, a lot of good groups on, on Facebook uh, for trading. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, one of the features, now one thing he did ask me uh, when, I, when he made this for me, he asked me if I was left or right handed. Really didn't get the specifics for it, but I think the reason for that, because I told him I carry it on my left side. You know, that's how I would want to carry it. So it does have a strap which has a buckle that you can undo. And as you see, since I told it's on my left side, um, it's on that proper side. It's not back here. Whereas if it was on the right side, you know, that clip would be here. So he does tailor it. You know, he does tailor this, uh, this, this haversack to how you want to carry it, you know, which is great. You know, and there's so many companies out there that offer good quality, good products, but uh, <coughs> this is one that will be tailored uh, just to the way you desire to carry it. So it does have a clip, but the other great feature about this, the little Velcro band here, it does have an adjustable strap, so you can snug this up to you. If you're a little bit taller of an individual, you can loosen it up however you want, however you make want to make it comfortable. So it does have an adjustable strap, and it does have a little Velcro uh, stitched in there, so you can easily close it up. Okay, I am going to tell you a little bit about the features and show you them up close and, you know, a little bit closer with the camera. But I just wanted to show you at first what I have packed in here. You know, it does hold a good bit inside this haversack. And, um, you know, I just went with the five C's, packed the five C's here. So I'm going to show you how much that you can actually pack into here. It does have a flap, uh, which, you know, has two buckles, two plastic buckles. And um, all the stitching that he does, he does a great job stitching. Um, I heard a lot of comments from a lot of people that have gotten these from him and they even said that they expected to get something that looked like it was sewn out of somebody's garage but uh, they're very impressed by the quality and the, and the time you know this is just Malcolm isn't just somebody who's in his garage selling stuff I mean he does work from home but he's not just some um, guy who decided to get a machine and put stuff together you know, he's got some skill he's got some ability and he's putting that to good use so the stitching that he uses on the straps on the buckles are all heavy quality uh, and, and they're pretty durable. It does have a little flap here on the top, and I'll show you that when we get a little bit more closer to the back. But, you know, inside of it, I do have, you know, my knife in this outside, outer pouch. I also got my folding saw in the outer pouch. It's got my whole entire fire kit in it. I got a large uh, uh, Gaiot Design bottle. I even have my military poncho folded up in here. And I got a roll of 550 cord. Yeah, whoop, I've got some more. I've got, I've got here a little pouch here, which will show. I got my uh, my headlamp. So you can see just there that was that was a good bit of stuff just to have in a little scout pack. You know, just the five C's, the common common sense, uh, common use stuff that you would need out in the woods for a scout or a hike. You know, and I was easily able to pack that. And that's a large kit, you know, compared to what most people would carry or what I, even I would carry. You know, I have my whole entire fire kit in there. I had, you know. Uh, 
uh, a poncho in there and, and whatnot. You know, that took up a lot of space, but it, and I still have plenty of room um, in this pouch to store more gear. And in the pouches, I want to show you. I didn't even use a lot of pouches, so so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring the camera down here, and we're gonna get a little bit closer of a view of this pouch. All right, like I said, uh, get out of the sun here, see a little easier. Like I said, I'll give a little bit more of an up close view of this pouch. Um, once again, you got a heavy duty uh, strap, cargo strapping for a shoulder strap, all right, and with a buckle. And you can see the stitching on these. He, he does a very good job. All these stitchings uh, along the seams and along the uh, the straps are pretty heavy duty. You know, they're they're, they're pretty good quality. You know, it's even better than some of the store bought stuff. You see, put put some time in there to make sure that this is going to last. You know, so many companies out there, you know that make a product as cheap as they can just so they can sell it and make money but he he made a product good quality uh, he wants it to last you know this is a guy's a good guy and you know he wants to give people a product that they're going to be happy about and last uh, you know he's not making a big bunch of money like i said he trades a, a trades for these so he's not making money on all of these so he's he's making them you know good quality to make them last um, once again that buckle is on one side of the strap along with the adjustment and like i said don't quote me, I'm not 100% sure, but just logically, you know, using common sense, I figured that's why he asked me what side I wanted to wear it on. I'm pretty sure if I would have said right side, that it would have been on that side, but if you contact him for one of those, you can verify that with him. Uh, it's got two buckles holding the flap shut, which, you know, are adjustable, so if you have a lot more gear in there, or if you want to put something like, say, store your, your tarp or a poncho underneath that, you can loosen this up some so you can store that in between the flap and the pouch. You unbuckle it. And one feature he adds I've never seen on any other pouches. Um, you know, if this wasn't here, let me put the camera down for a second. I'm just going to take that flap out of the way, out of the picture so you don't see it. You know, most haversacks and most pouches, you know, they have their flap and you have the inside of the pouch, right? And when you close it up, you still have that little bit of a gap right there, right? And that just gives an opportunity for rain, if it's raining, for rain to get down in there. You also get bugs and debris and whatnot. It just, it leaves an opening for, for rain and, and debris uh, to get into your pouch. Well, one thing he sewn onto all, sews onto all his haversacks is this little, this little flap here, this Velcro flap. So when you affix that flap, you stuff your sack with whatever, you fix your flap, close over the lid. Now you don't have that opening there, all right? Anything that's inside is going to be more protected than what it was because that little gap, that opening is covered. And I think that's a pretty unique feature. It's just a little bit more of a, an addition to this to this uh, pouch, to, a, to this haversack to give it a little bit more protection. Well, on the outside, you have two pouches. You have one pouch that's open for quick access. And it's a pretty decent sized pouch. You see it opens up pretty pretty far. And you know, it's about as deep as that's about how deep it is. You can see that. Uh, but then he also has another pouch on the outside of it, which is Velcro enclosed, so that way you can have something, you know, make sure you don't lose it or whatnot, you can put on the outside. And that's on the outside of the pouch, so underneath the flap. Alright, so you see a lot of haversacks, they do sometimes have pouches on the outside, but you know that those pouches aren't protected, but he protects his pouches underneath the, the flap. One that's open for quick access, and then you have one as Velcro for uh, more security. And on the inside, see, that's the inside. All right, got that? Oh. <laughs> well, on the inside of the pouch, he does have another pouch along the back wall. It's kind of hard for me to show it to you here. There you can see it there. He's got a pouch on the inside of the back wall. And uh, he also reinforces the back, you know, so the straps aren't just pulling onto the fabric of the bag. He does have a webbing strap that runs from one strap along the back, along the, you know, along the back wall into the other strap. So that way your straps are more secure. They got something else they're anchoring to rather than just the material of the fabric. So that strap is not going to pull and wear and tear on that fabric because it has that webbing back in the back reinforcing it. So it's reinforced very well. Um, give you a little bit of a, a view of the front of it. 
the flap open, front of it, front of it, blah, blah, blah. front, front, wow, front of it with the flap closed. And that's the back. And you can see he's stitched, all his seams are stitched very well, very good quality. You know, uh, and uh, I'm not saying I'm an expert with knowing stitching, but you know, I, my uh, mother was a professional seamstress for many years and she made a lot of her own clothing and, and sewn a lot of things. So I, I grew up seeing some, some sewing, sewmanship or sew workmanship, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it, it's a pretty, pretty good, uh, I mean, very good quality. I'm actually very impressed. And uh, compared to a lot of store-bought items out there, um, this, if not better, it's definitely the same as buying it from the store. So whether you're paying the money, um, which is very affordable compared to a lot of pouches, uh, you're going to get your money's worth. Plus, you're going to get it custom-made because, once again, he'll uh, fix it. You know, he could have put black straps on this if I want it. He could have made it with uh, coyote brown if I want it. A certain type of fabric if I want it. I told them no, I want an earth brown canvas uh, pouch with a tan or brown straps and that's exactly what I got. I got the the buckle affixed to the side that you know would be feasible for me as I carried it because I carried it on my left hand side and I got a pouch that's gonna last me for a while and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat it up Malcolm if you're watching this I'm gonna beat your pouch up and uh, and hopefully it, it lasts me, and I'm pretty sure it will because you did some good quality stuff, brother. And uh, thanks a lot for uh, for the pouch. And once again, I'm going to put a link to his YouTube uh, on this video as well as on my Facebook when I post this. I'm going to have a link to his Facebook account. So if you're on my friends list, you'll be able to uh, follow that link and uh, contact him to discuss getting your own pouch. So thanks again, Malcolm. I'm Sarge with Earthwalker Premium. Thank you.